What's up, YouTube? So today we're going to do part, I don't know, part two or three of the engine swap. So today I'm just going to remove the transmission from the old motor back there and uh, maybe prep some of the stuff on this motor. I don't know if I'll do it over a couple days, but right now I'm just going to take off the transmission and get that ready to be moved over to the new motor. All right, so to do this, we're going to have to hook up the engine hoist um, to here. I already have the chain hooked up to this side and we have the chain hooked up on this side as well so we should be able to lift this up and then unbolt the transmission. Okay so it's unbolted you can see here we made a little guide so when I put it back um, yeah so we're just gonna Take off the transmission, I'm probably going to put it on the other dolly over there so that we have two dollies. Nice. So here's something interesting. Um, we just took the transmission off and you know the engine's hoisted in the air. There's always like a leak around here and it looks like it was the head gasket. Um, since it's being held up by the head, but it looks like it might have been loose and leaking, which is where, so there's always been like wet spots here, um, pretty much the whole duration of the sentence life. So, I mean, it was doing pretty good. It was never overheating, but it looks like it might have been actually leaking from there. Okay, so I finally got the transmission separated from the motor, and then we're going to have to remove the clutch and stuff and inspect it, and then going to do all the um, gaskets on the new motor, like the um, valve cover gasket, the coil plugs, and then I'm going to change the lift bolts in the new motor. But yeah, separated. Um, we do have that little leak over by the head gasket. There was always like a leak in that general area, but I had no idea where it was coming from, and I kept doing like UV dye tests and everything and messaging a lot of people online, and no one could really tell what it was. But I guess when I put it on the hoist, um, because it's attached to the head, there's some separation there, so I'm assuming maybe it had um, a uh, loose or um, the head stud wasn't tight enough, so it would separate there, um, and it made it more apparent when lifting the motor, but who knows. All right, guys, so let's wrap up this part three of the uh, preparation for the install video. I know I take forever doing these things. I really don't like wrenching on cars, but um, we got the... Uh, lift bolts replaced and then I redid the seals here and the tube seals there was some oil in the spark plug area so glad I did that resealed that uh, we did the RTV on the little gaps there and uh, yeah it should be ready to drop in did the rear main seal now the next roadblock before the next video or the next video will be um, the clutch so if you can look here finally I got the clutch cover off the old motor and we can see that it is a bit worn down to almost the end. There's still a little bit more life left, but um, this is what I'm working with. This is two years of track use, and uh, I think it's not too bad. The wear is pretty even, but it is time for a replacement, especially while the car is apart. Uh, this is a competition clutch stage four, so um, that's the wear that it incurred. And here's the pressure plate. Um, we did, uh, or I was able to find a competition clutch, just the disc, so I think I'm just going to be replacing the friction surface and reusing everything else, so we should be able to do that. Um, but yeah, overall guys, we're almost there. That's the final thing um, before moving everything into the car, so that's it for the update, and I will see you in the next one. So I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Westside, bad boy killers, you know, you know who the realest is, niggas, we bring it to